In a distributed system, integration testing is a process that helps us validate that the various moving parts all work together cohesively. There are many approaches to integration testing, but the most commonly used approach is what we call end-to-end -end integrated testing, uh, which involves making sure all the components are deployed into a single environment together that closely resembles production, and then running a battery of tests against them. You might use a tool like Postman, for example, maybe not through the user interface, and you would drive the request through the entire system. And the request is going to have to make its way through the various layers. So through the user interface, down through any gateways, through the various microservices, and make that all the way back up to the client. And then what you're going to do is check that that request did what you thought it would do, didn't explode, and you repeat this process over and over. And once you've run all those tests and they passed, you're going to feel pretty comfortable that what you have is a working system that's going to work in production. So you do get at least a pretty good amount of confidence. The downside to this approach, of course, is that it's low. Um, real requests need to make their way through real systems um, over the internet, and they need to do things like send real emails or do whatever it is your application actually does. And that takes time. Secondly, you normally can't run these types of tests in parallel. And so running them in sequence uh, obviously slows them down as well. It's not uncommon for these types of tests to take tens of minutes, 30, an hour or more. It's, it's very common. Coupled with this though, they have this property of fragility. It's very common for these kinds of tests to fail, sometimes for no apparent reason. Um, th there are a number of reasons for this. For example, one, if you've got the wrong test data in the environment, well, that could cause the test to fail. If you have the wrong version of the software deployed into the environment, that could fail too. You might have the wrong test. The test isn't appropriate for that set of servers or services. That could fail too. Uh, and you might have the wrong environment configuration. So it's the kind of thing where you're walking past a server as it's testing and you're worried you might somehow impact the test. That's the kind of flakiness that you get with these kinds of tests. Now, let's assume one of these things does fail and it fails in microservice B. Well, now you need to go digging into your log systems to find out what went wrong because usually you don't get to see the exception from the outside. You normally would hide that for information hiding reasons and encapsulation. And so now you need to go digging into tools like Splunk or Sumo Logic uh, to find out what actually went wrong, you know, using some correlation IDs, tracing the request that failed through the system, finding the version of the application that failed, going looking at GitHub, so on and so forth. That takes time. We know test data management and environment management is just a problem. Somebody now has to make sure that when we're setting these tests up, that they're gonna work. Otherwise, all the problems we just discussed show up. That takes time and effort. You don't normally get coverage this way as well. Like you, you can't get 100% coverage, whatever that really means. So normally you, you use some form of heuristic to go, well, did we get the coverage we're expecting? Is this going to give us the confidence we want? Um, now, if you're deploying, uh, testing everything together, well, you really need to deploy everything together because how do you know that they're gonna to work together if you didn't test it that way? So you now need to release it all together and that is quite a painful thing. You might remember back in the days when you had to deploy all these things together in the middle of the night just to make sure that if it did break, you had a chance, time to roll things back. And when you've got more and more components to have to roll back, that gets more complicated. And because of this, you've now got teams waiting on other teams to get things done. There's queues between the system. And we know from agile theory that queues really seem to slow the whole system down. If we look at this from a release pipeline perspective, this seems to be the state of the industry. We have reasonably good processes for our usual CI build and CI test phases. But then what happens is we go into this integration test phase. And this is where we require this dedicated environment. We might require a separate team to actually run these tests and requires coordination to actually get access to that environment to make sure it all works uh, and coordinating across teams to make sure all the right components are deployed there. So that's one big barrier. Once you get through this, then there's this process of coordinating this go, no go decision to make sure we can deploy safely into production. And usually that's a bit of a process black box it requires a lot of dedicated effort to, to get that through. And then we get back into part of the industry we're reasonably good with, which is releasing and uh, running deployments themselves we're, we're getting pretty good at that as an industry. And the issue with the end-to-end -end integration test we just talked about, uh, as well as that problem around um, the black box process, is that what this is not a very scalable process. As you add teams and components into the system, 
So let's say you add more applications, you know, linearly, what we see is this non-linear response uh, to certain uh, dimensions of this. So for example, environments start to go up exponentially, either the complexity of them, the impact waiting for them, or the number of them. Similarly, build time goes up, risk associated with change goes up, and the developer idle time, queuing between teams, goes up exponentially relative to the size of your system and teams.